Hi, it's Faceless Tech. A couple of weeks ago, I made this uh, ghost cart, which was a took a Chinese repo cartridge, Game Boy cartridge, um, shrunk it, shrunk the shell down, so basically it'll go in the back of a Game Boy and be completely invisible. That got me thinking. There's a lot of empty space in the top of these cases. I thought, what can I put in there? Could I put uh, a few some electronics, maybe some LEDs, just make up a really, really wild case for it. And then I thought, oh, I wonder if it could power tap the power from the Game Boy cartridge and power an Arduino. So I did a bit of a test board, just, just to put some wires out of it, powered it up, worked great. And then um, I found this little screen, a little, um, I think it's 32 by 128 uh, pixels screen. So I thought oh, that'd be, and it was quite thin the board as well for it, because sometimes when you get the uh, 64 by 128 uh, pixel screens, they're quite big and the boards are quite big. So obviously I was, you know, tight for space on this. Uh, threw together a PCB, um, just using an Arduino Pro Micro, literally headers for the screen, just wired up by squared C, power, and that was it. Kind of didn't really think much of it. I wish I'd kind of done a bit more measuring and stuff because the screen isn't centered, but I've done my best to kind of um, disguise the fact with uh, using all this, that, and the other. And um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll show you basically what it does when it's on the 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 Arduino doesn't know what doesn't know anything about the game that's in it so you basically have to program uh, flash a game and then you have to program your LCD they don't really talk to each other the only thing they do is it taps it for power so if you turn it on now I've got Tetris in there it is really flickery on the screen it's not like that in real life but as you can hear it's turned on and there you go so um, but I also did realize that when I flash this, I'm not sure if it flashes it at 3.3 uh, volts or that the Arduino was just pulling too much power on the, the flash I was using, it just would not flash. So I had to install a little switch, kill switch, so you can turn it off basically while you flash the cartridge and then you can just turn it back on, flash whatever game is on there. At first I was going to use the uh, Arduino, um, Adafruit library, but it seemed like a right pain in the arse to do it and then I found another one, um, I can't remember the top of my head. But there's, I found a blog post which took, walked you all the way through it using GIMP to get your image, to change it to another file, take that, copy and paste. It was really quite easy to do, quite a nice thing. Obviously, uh, there'd be a, a blog post with this in more detail <laughs> than that. But doing this, um, this case was just turned out to be a major, a major headache, really. I got all these. Because the thing was, I, it was right printing the back side of the case. Here's the back side. It's got the screen, um, it's got the switch here, and everything else. That was quite easy to do. It was just this top piece because it, um, I basically had to print it. Um, like normally, I'd print it face down, but they'd be all uh, you'd get the horrible um, texture on this part of it. This part would be nice. So basically, I had like this massive raft that I had to sit on. So it did take quite a while. And then when you pulled this off, you sometimes pulled off. Uh, little bits and that weren't like here where they just they come off because they got stuck to that or whatever it was a major pain in the ass as you can see it went through a lot a lot of iterations finally ended up on this one so as always there is a lot of 3d printed waste that's probably only half of them but i'm quite happy with the uh how it turned out really I'm not sure if you could, um, if it's got enough memory to do animations or whatever, but you can literally put anything you want in here, anything that you that you want. It doesn't have to be the game; it could just be um, kind of whatever you, whatever you desire, really. It's just kind of a bit of a a bit of a proof of concept, really. I may expand this further, add other electronics. You could obviously go um, sort of infinitely upwards, really, if you think about it. You've only luckily luckily enough. It's just about fitted in the Game Boy. Fits in all the other colours, pockets, everything else. Here's a little slot for the. Uh... But yeah, it may be, maybe it's a stepping stone for something else. And um, yeah, as always, uh, blog post with a description, more of a description of this, more. We have all the design files, all the PCB files. I'm not sure if the other repos, because you kind of can't really tell what repos you get. They might not fit in this shell because it is really tight, really, really tight for space. Um, but it kind of every time I order a repo, they kind of come to be like a completely different one, even if it's the same game. 
I've uh, ordered it on, so it's kind of a bit hit and miss in that respect. Um, but yeah, as always, happy hacking.